Hey, Sojourn Kingdom kids. I read a really interesting story today. It was about 10 men who were really, really sick with a sickness called leprosy. Did you know that back in the Bible times, if you had this sickness, you had to stay away from everything? Don't come any closer! You couldn't be around your family or your friends or even live in your house. The sickness was easily spread, so the people with it had to be alone and outside of the camp. Isn't that sad? It would be really lonely to have leprosy. In today's story, we're gonna see a group of these really sick men encounter Jesus. When we encounter Jesus, things change. I can't wait to see this encounter. But first, I think we should start out with a recap. Jesus was in full swing of walking out his calling to fulfill his father's plan here on earth. We have seen him encounter so many people over the last few weeks. One thing that has been the same is that every time Jesus encounters someone, a change occurs. Last week, we saw Jesus make time for a Samaritan woman. Remember, Jewish people and Samaritans did not get along, but Jesus took time to meet with her. Jesus always makes time for us and loves everyone. Jesus talked about living water. You see, she said my name again living water and how he was and is the messiah he fills us up with his love and gives us the holy spirit jesus is our savior jesus told the woman her past and it led the way for her to believe in jesus and share with others her encounter with the messiah because of jesus's encounter with that one woman many in samaria believed that is so cool remember Today we are talking about how encounters with Jesus change things. Let's see how an encounter with Jesus changed the 10 men in our story today. So buckle up because it's time for Story Mode. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He was passing between Samaria and Galilee. Jesus entered a village. In a little distance off, there were 10 men with leprosy. They began to raise their voices to Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! Master, please! Have mercy on us! Have mercy! Mercy! Jesus, please! Jesus saw the men with leprosy. Remember, the men had to stay away from everyone because of their sickness. Jesus said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. This was probably an interesting response to the lepers. The men were crying out, mercy, mercy. But Jesus didn't heal them in that instant moment. He gave them direction to go and show themselves to the priest. In Bible times, the priest would determine if you had leprosy or you didn't. The lepers had to obey Jesus in faith and begin walking away from Jesus, even though they weren't healed. It says in the Bible that as the lepers started going, they were made clean. They were healed as they were walking to the priests. When one of the 10 lepers saw that they had been cleansed, he stopped what he was doing and turned back. The leper glorified God with a loud voice. He fell at Jesus' feet and gave thanks to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing me mercy and making me clean. I was so sick and, and you made me totally well. I, I, I thought this would be my life forever, but you healed me. You made me clean. Thank you. Thank you. The man who came and thanked Jesus was a Samaritan. Remember, the relationship that Jews had with the Samaritans? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that great. But Jesus loves everyone. Remember that when you hear how Jesus responds to this man, were there not 10 who were cleansed? But the other nine, where are they? Was no one found to give glory and thanks to God except this foreigner? Jesus was saying that he healed 10 men with leprosy, but only one came to say thank you and praise God for the miracle. 
Jesus was saying that not only was there only one man who came back to say thank you, but this man wasn't even Jewish. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has made you well. When we encounter Jesus, things change. Jesus encountered 10 men with a horrible sickness and they were healed. We saw the encounter with Jesus physically change the men, but for one man, the encounter with Jesus changed his heart. The man with leprosy was so thankful that Jesus would heal him that he ran back to Jesus to say thank you and give him praise. Jesus told the man that his faith had made him well. We can encounter Jesus too. Did you know we don't have to just encounter Jesus at church? We can talk to the Holy Spirit any time of the day. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he made a way for us to be changed once and for all. Those men with leprosy were, were really lonely. They were away from their homes, their friends, and their families. Did you know we are never alone? Even if we get sick or feel sad about something or feel alone, we aren't because we have God. He is always there to comfort you. He is always there to listen to you. And did you know that he loves it? He loves you. We can take an important lesson from the 10 men. Only one man came back to tell Jesus thank you for all he did for him. We need to remember to be thankful for what God has done for us. Remember, we are working on finding something we are thankful for every single day. What are you thankful for that God has done for you today? Bye, friends!